Well, hello there again. Well, today we have a uh, Chevy S10 here with the uh, 4.3 Vortec engine in it. And I've been getting some uh, check engine codes and it's been running rough and smelling like rotten eggs once in a while. Um, so I flashed the codes and I came up with a 32 code, a PO32 code I believe it was, or a 33, I'll have to look it up here. But anyways, it said the EGR was bad. Well, its engine's got about 100,000 miles on it. I don't know if the EGR has ever been changed. Um... You can see right here, this is the old one. I should have done this when I replaced it, but as you can see here, the, the valve here has got some, some carbon on it. And I'm sure that was getting in there causing problems. It's pretty nasty in there. So that was the old one. Um, here's the tools I used. I used a uh, 3 8 or you might have the uh, 10 millimeter on there, an extension, um, 3 8 wrench or 10 millimeter wrench, a uh, screwdriver, and I have a flex head ratchet. Now I can show you here real quick exactly where it is, and then I'll go quickly through how to uh, do everything. So it's it's right back there. It's right behind the engine, way in the back there. You can see that shiny part there sticking out. So I will uh, pause the video here real quick and I will take things apart. What I'm going to do is I will take off the air filter, the air filter assembly that comes off, and then we'll just uh, unscrew it here real quick. So that's just a quick overview and I will be back in a couple of minutes. All right. As you can see here, I have everything off. I have the uh, throttle body, the uh, uh, fuel system here. Um, the air of this truck is just like when they started switching over from the throttle body to your multi-port. So yeah, you can get a, a better view here of, of uh, where it's at. Um, so you can eat, get a uh, socket and an extension you just get it down in there um, there's one bolt right there you can see right at the end of the uh, socket and then if I can I will quickly show you where the other one is it is right right down there you can see right there at the end of the socket now this one here I had to use a wrench I use a small wrench and I got that one out of there. The other side, I was able to get the socket. Um, you can take out the distributor cap here, but then that's a pain in the butt. So um, I try to do as little as possible being a mechanic all my life. Um, one quick trick I thought I would share with everybody is let's say you have a bolt that is not cooperating. And so one trick I do, let's uh, get it set up here. So I can, I don't know if you can see that here. So let's, oh, uh, let's see here. All right, I just hook them together like this. And then that way, when you do that, you put it on there and you can get some leverage. So, um... This is an old mechanic trick I learned many, many years ago from an old mechanic. So yeah, you just hook them together like that. So you need uh, two combination wrenches and that works out great. So that's what I had to do here. It was a little sticky. And so I got it off, uh, replaced it, cleaned it out. Um, I just used my finger in there, cleaned it out. It wasn't too bad. You might have to do a little bit more work to clean it out. And uh, so yeah, put it together, the gasket, um, one trick with the gasket, here's the old gasket. I just put a little gasket sealer on there, um, RTV, whatever, and then when you stick it on there, it'll stick better. Um, there's the plug, it only goes on one way. Um, so yeah, I take the old one, I, this job took me 15-20 minutes, if that, so 
and then yeah you put it back on put everything together and uh you're good to go um so far i've been running it for a day here now and no problems so uh hopefully that did the trick if not i'll have to do a little more diagnostics so uh, hopefully that helps some of you um, with everything. Uh, you can uh, like, subscribe, and like I said, as I do more uh, little projects around, and if I think of it, I will make some more videos for you. Thanks for watching.